So when you're setting up your Colquitt K1 free satellite TV receiver and you're trying to add a transponder into a satellite, you might receive this message on your screen. So let's find out what the problem is. So if you get this message on the screen when you're trying to add in a transponder to set yourself up for a blind scan, the problem is, is that your LNB frequency is probably not matching to the type of transponder that you are entering. What that means is, is that you might be entering a C-band transponder and you have a KU-band LNB frequency entered in your receiver or vice versa. You might be entering a KU-band transponder and have a C-band LNB frequency entered in the receiver. So you're Receiver is expecting the transponder frequency that you enter to be within a certain range depending on the LNB frequency that has been selected, either KU band or C band. So let's try and fix this now. Let's go ahead and exit out of here for a second. And we'll go back to the main menu by pressing the menu button here. So the satellite I have selected is 103 West C-band, but if you look over here in the LNB frequency menu, 10750 is a KU-band LNB frequency for a standard KU-band LNB. So we're going to fix this by changing this to a C-band LNB. Now the frequency I need to use is this one, 5150 to 5750. If you're using a standard C-band LNB, then you're probably going to use 5150. But for my LNB, it's this one here with a dual oscillating frequency. Okay, we'll go ahead and save that. We'll press exit and then press yes to save. Okay, now we can go back to the transponder menu. Press the yellow button on your remote control for transponder. We'll press the add button. Now you can see the difference here. The frequency on here automatically changes to 3000 megahertz because now the receiver is expecting a C-band transponder. If you recall earlier, it was 11,700 megahertz a KU band frequency. So we'll go ahead and add the transponder in now. We'll use 4040 which is the transponder for the Scripps Broadcasting Channels, Court TV, Grit, Laugh, Bounce, Ion. And the symbol rate is 30,000. And that is a horizontal polarity, so we'll leave that as it is. And we'll go to Save. And now that transponder is entered, and now we can go back to the main menu by pressing the menu key. And now to do a blind scan, all we have to do is press the red button. And we just want the free channels, TV and radio, blind scan and hit search. Okay, and here come those channels. The best thing to do is enter the LNB frequency correctly before you try to add in a satellite transponder. So your receiver is expecting the transponder frequency that you enter to be within a certain range for each band of satellite. If you're entering a C-band satellite transponder, then you're using probably one of two types of LNBs, either a standard C-band LNB, which has a local oscillating frequency of 5150, or a one cable solution, which has the dual oscillating frequency like I showed you in the video. Your transponder frequency has to be somewhere between 3800 and 4200 megahertz. Now, of course, this reflects the newly allotted C-band frequency range for TV after the cell phone C-band auction. And for KU-band satellite, you're probably using either a standard or a universal KU band LNB. So you'll set the local oscillating frequencies as you see on the screen there in your receiver. And when you do that, your receiver is expecting 
the transponder frequency to be somewhere between 10,700 and 12,750 megahertz. Now, if these things don't jive in your receiver, then you're probably going to get that out-of-range message.